Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Well, we finally got the Bronco finished. And although I wanted to finish this earlier in the week, I just couldn't get the bench time to do it. So, here we are. We're going to take a look at this thing and uh, go over what I did and what I didn't do. And uh, I'll tell you more about this kit. So stick around. Alright guys, let's take a look. So we went really simple with this. We built it box stock. I didn't use all the parts. There's still plenty of parts, so there's lots of spares left over. Okay, I painted it uh, with a Krylon Shortcuts paint, and it's not called Doo Doo Brown. It's called Espresso Brown. I was joking the other day, and I was calling this Doo Doo Bronco Brown, but uh, it's Krylon Shortcuts Espresso. So. You'll see that I use the orange and yellow decals, as well as the Bronco badging decal here. We use the Sun Visor Bronco uh, windshield de decal. Blah, blah, blah. We went and we blacked out the grill. We painted the Ford emblem with the Tamiya clear blue. And we painted the blinkers and the fog lights with the Tamiya clear yellow. This orange is that acrylic paint, that Evolution or Revolution acrylic paint, and it came out pretty good, I think. And then back here, you see we use bare metal foil to simulate that chrome panel that a lot of Ford trucks have. And uh, I saw some 82 Broncos when I was looking up uh, reference picks that had the, uh, the chrome panel or aluminum panel, if you will. And the blue oval back here is one of the kit decals. Obviously clear red um, tail lights. At the end of the video, there's some still pics of the interior and of the exterior of the body. So I did build up the top. We're going to put this on the shelf topless. I built this up and um, uh, it has some extra clear glass back here. And that's supposed to fit in a groove. I can't even speak. It's supposed to fit in a groove back here. And because of that, it kind of makes it sit funny when you're just trying to set it on top like this. But if you're going to glue this into place, you won't have any issues. It should fit pretty nice. But let me tell you a little bit about this here. So you probably saw it comes in three pieces, excluding the glass. So the top piece here and then these two side pieces. And I have to warn you, do not glue these into place like right away. Mock up, mock up, mock up, mock up. You know, white glue, whatever you want to use. But mock these up, move them around, and, and see where they fit. Keep putting it on there, fit it in place, see how it sits. Uh, because if you glue them into place the first shot, chances are you're going to be disappointed they're not going to fit. Now, like I said, if I was going to glue this down into place, I think it'd be perfect. But we're going to leave it topless and put it on the shelf. So my overall impressions of this kit, it's not so bad. It builds up pretty decent. There was no funky stuff that went on. Obviously, clean up. You know, that's just general stuff that you're going to have to do anyway. But as far as building the chassis and where everything is supposed to fit... It fits where it's supposed to. There was nothing crazy going on. I didn't struggle with this. It went together just fine. Now you can build this um, and leave it so the wheels roll. I did not do that. I glued them into place. So one more looks around. I can honestly tell you guys I can see this being built up in many different configurations. Rock crawlers pulling trucks, lifted, topless, top on, whatever. And I think this is a solid foundation for a lot of different builds, guys. Grab yourself one. 
Alright guys, I want to thank Spotlight Hobbies for providing this kit. Uh, go back and watch the unboxing if you want to see all the parts and stuff like that. Go back and watch the first uh, video about the Bronco, the chassis buildup and stuff like that if you need more information about that. But again guys, I want to thank you all for supporting the channel and thanks for watching.